Good morning all. I haven't done a post bag for a while, I don't think, so it's post bag. Let's see what this yellow one is. What's in here? Oh, chips. Okay. So these are HM6116. Um, these are 2K static RAM chips. 2K bytes, I'm pretty sure they are. So that's... Um, 16k bits yes that's right that's where the 16 comes from um it looks like the pins have got a bit mangled in fact they're not just a bit mangled they're really badly mangled um it might be a bit touch and go whether i can get that one back square again so yeah not very good packaging on these ones so these are for the 8-bit computer project so uh q 8-bit computer project box let's see what's in here right so that's the basic 8-bit computer uh, as it stands at the moment now i am using these uh, skinny dip uh, rams it's the same number of pins but they're in a skinny package uh, so i think it's 28 pins is it it's just that um, it's a, a neater package i'm sure these 6116s will do exactly the same job i kind of quite like this skinny dip package so I can't guarantee that I'll actually use these 6116s, but um, I just wanted to get them to check that uh, they behaved in exactly the same way as the, I think it was a Toshiba 2016, which I was using initially, um, in mainly in the sense of being able to press the write button and have it write the data that you put on these switches into the RAM. Well, it certainly works on these Sony ones, these skinny dip ones, so I've no doubt it'll work on these too. So these ones I bought back in May this year uh, from Good Trade 2046 and they were $2.53 for the two pieces. Uh, now this is no longer a link so uh, I can't click through to that item and if you view sellers other items they're not actually selling anything which is probably a good thing because uh, the ironic name Good Trade 2046 for the state those things are in this seller certainly shouldn't be selling integrated circuits. So just a quick reminder how this thing works and to some extent to uh, re-inspire me to uh, take another look at it. Um, I don't think it's gonna do anything much at the moment. No, it's just jumping to address zero. So what I need to do in address zero, which is here, I need to put uh, a one. So I'll write a one in there. That means that when I step the uh, latch here, it will jump to address one. In address one, I put in a two, write that in, and then it jumps to address two. And by building up um, all these jump addresses, and then in the other RAM, uh, the actual computer instructions, we can build an operating program. Right, let's take a look at uh, this one. What's in here? Uh, oh, it's a hot RC radio control, is that? Oh yes, I think that's the you can just about make out the three seven segment displays uh it's a voltage display buzzer alarm for lithium battery packs uh so here's a lithium battery pack this is i think a four cell uh so let's open this and take a quick look at it uh three digit display a couple of these uh pizza buzzer things there's a button there for programming the um alarm voltage i think and then there's the port for up to uh, 8s pack so that'll be a nine pin connector um and i do have a couple of these things but the reason i bought this one was because it's sort of neatly packaged in this plastic case which i quite like the look of now i can't see anything on here that tells me which is the most negative side of this connector uh, so where will i put the black wire on this battery pack so i think probably the best thing is to try and get this thing open and it looks to me like it's just pegged together with these small uh, pegs or studs yeah so that's coming apart quite easily and try and identify which is the most negative side from the circuit board well my guess is that uh, this copper plane here is negative because we've got one side of the switch going to it uh, we've got one side of this capacitor going to it. Now it runs down via this very thin track right on the edge. 
and uh, using a torch I've kind of determined well, I think I have yes that that track runs round all of the eight pins to the left and actually attaches to this point here on the right so I'm guessing that this is ground over on this side here in other words in this copper area but is that connected to that copper area well it is via that track so I'm going to put the negative on there and just see what happens I don't think this was terribly expensive right let's give it a try so I reckon negative is there double beep that sounds good and we've got an all voltage of 15.2 and then 378 379 380 cell 4 374 and back to all again so uh, yes that's certainly correct that uh, negative goes to that side so I need to mark that in some way on the back of this uh, case when I put it back together um, but, but yes that certainly seems to work the beeper is pretty loud the idea of the beeper is that it's very loud um, and when you're flying your aircraft uh, you can actually hear the beeps coming from the aircraft when this thing gets below the set voltage now I believe that you set the set voltage by pressing and holding this button uh, well that doesn't seem to be the case I thought that was what you had to do press and hold the button ah no maybe you just press it briefly yes that seems to be setting the voltage uh, 3.2 3.3 so we're looking for a cell voltage uh, off uh, so say you wanted it to start alarming when the cell voltage gets down to well let's go to 3 volts 3.00 so pressing and holding this button doesn't seem to do anything it seems that you just press it uh, that sets the voltage it's probably stored in flash and then if I press it again oh that actually increments it that's a bit silly it'd be more sense if it uh, just displayed it but that seems to increment it so we'll have to wind it around again to 3 volts so the alarm voltage is 3 volts for if any cell goes lower than 3 volts this will start alarming right so let's mark uh, the plastic on this end uh, in black so that I can see it when I reassemble it so that's good put it back in its case and scratch something on the back uh, a minus sign or something like that right so it's uh, just a simple push fit back on in fact I'm not sure I even need the minus sign because uh, if I look in here I can see that black marker so I think I'll just leave it like that and then I don't have to deface the case so much uh, it's called a BX100 not quite sure why but it looks like um, the functionality is virtually identical I think maybe on the other ones it was a press and hold of that button this one it isn't it's just a single press shame that it doesn't uh, display the current alarm voltage before incrementing but it doesn't so that's how it is so this item is this it's a 1 to 8 s so that's a 1 to 8 cell uh, bx100 lipo battery voltage tester low voltage buzzer alarm with dual speaker uh, it's only one dollar 63 so uh, not hugely expensive free shipping and this came from CZB 672 1960 and so these are today's post bag items uh, huge thanks as always to uh, patreon subscribers who make these videos possible these post bag videos possible um, if you would like to become a patreon uh, subscriber donator then uh, this link will take you through to my patreon page another couple of videos up here if you want to watch more of my stuff and this link here is the subscribe button if you want to subscribe to my channel. Cheerio.